Thanks very much for purchasing your decals from LEGO Media. This video is uh, going to go through a uh, quick little tutorial on how to best apply the decals to your wheels for maximum longevity. Before you get started though, make sure that your wheel is extremely clean and free of any grease or debris or dust um, or anything that might keep the decals from sticking to the wheel. So we recommend uh, perhaps cleaning it with a degreaser like Simple Green and then rinsing with water or maybe even uh, hitting it with some rubbing alcohol and letting that dry to make sure the surface of the wheel is uh, perfectly clean and ready to accept the decal. Having said that, in order to apply the decal most easily, we recommend a few steps. First, take the large sheet that the decal came on. This one we've already cut a couple of decals out of, but your sheet will look something like this. Put it on a flat surface and then apply pressure by rubbing on top of the transfer tape that covers the decal itself to make sure that the transfer tape has uh, adhered as well as possible um, and is well stuck to the decals themselves. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be pulling the transfer tape off of the cardboard backer and the decal is going to come off onto the transfer tape which you are then going to uh, stick onto the wheel. So you want to make sure that before you do that you apply lots of pressure uh, throughout the surface of the decal to make sure that the decal itself is stuck to the transfer tape. Once you've done that, use a sharp pair of scissors to separate the decal that you want to be applying from the rest of the sheet. In this case, I'm going to be applying one of these curved slate decals to the wheel that we were just talking about. What we recommend doing is cutting the decal you're going to be applying and leaving a very small amount of transfer tape above and below the decal itself. So in this case, I'm leaving about a millimeter of space above the decal. Um, and that's where I'm cutting. You're going to use that line above and below the decal uh, to make sure you center it appropriately in the best possible spot on your wheel. So I'm cutting the decal about a millimeter away from the orange, both on the top and on the bottom. Once you've done that, you're ready to apply. So now I have the decal ready with a very small amount of uh, transfer tape and cardboard backer left above the slate and below the word slate on the, on the transfer tape. We'll put the rest of the decals aside and then take this one again, give it another solid rub to make sure that the orange decal is attached to the transfer tape. Then flip it over so that the cardboard backer is uh, facing the top and start peeling the cardboard backer off of the transfer tape making sure that the decal comes off the cardboard backer onto the transfer tape. Every once in a while, you'll see a spot where the decal is not coming off. What you do at that point is you push it back down, apply more pressure to the transfer tape, and then that will release uh, the decal from the cardboard onto the transfer tape. You want to carefully remove all of the cardboard backer, again, making sure that the whole decal is staying on the transfer tape and then you are ready to apply it to the wheel. Set this aside for a second. Pick up the wheel that you're going to be working on. And at this point, now obviously this is not the same wheel that you're likely going to be working on since you're applying your decal to a Cannondale slate wheel, but I'm using this one for demonstration purposes. Pick up the decal on its transfer tape. Let me focus down here now and then use the curved surface of the transfer tape to align the decal to the curve of the wheel. I recommend going as high up as possible close to the spokes and away from the tire bead area so that if you ever have to use a tire bead to remove the tire from the wheel, the tire bead, you minimize the risk of damaging the decal with the, uh, with the tire lever. So I'm going to go as close to the po as possible to the spot where the where the wheel rolls over onto the flat surface that, that uh, is the spoke bed and apply the decal there. Once you get it lined up, apply pressure to the middle of the decal and then wipe outwards towards the outside to make sure that you don't leave any wrinkles in the surface of the decal. Then use your thumbs to apply pressure upwards towards the center of the wheel and downwards towards the tire. Once you've done that, and you've given the whole decal a good solid rub to apply pressure and make sure the decal is sticking onto the surface of the wheel, 
You can then pick up a corner of the transfer tape and pull the transfer tape slowly away from the decal, which will remain on your wheel. That's it, that completes the process. You might want to hit it again with some pressure from your thumbs to make sure that you've got good adhesion and that you've applied pressure to every spot on the decal. And then I'd recommend setting it aside overnight since the adhesive will uh, set over time, over a few hours, and give you uh, maximum performance. Alrighty, thanks very much again for your business, for shopping with LEGO Media. We hope this has been instructional and uh, that you have a good experience with this product.